Hey guys, the Titan has arrived. In this generation of Nvidia cards, it's in the shape of RTX 3090. This right here is the top of a line card from Palette, the RTX 3090 Gaming Pro OC. In this video, we'll go over the specs and show you what we get in the box. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing as we have a lot of content coming your way. Also, check out the full review with benchmarks and our opinion on it. The link is in the description below. But first, let's check out what's in the box. It's pretty straightforward. It has user manual, anti-sag bracket with mounting accessories, power cable adapter, and the card itself. The front of the card has a powerful iron black and silver gray look with triple fan setup. On the other side, we see a full-size backplate with a honeycomb cutout towards the end for heat dissipation. When we look inside, we see double U-shaped heat pipe stretching from the GPU die to both ends of the card. Palette here is actually using NVIDIA reference PCB design, which surprisingly makes this board very narrow. If we compare it to the 3080 Tough Gaming from ASUS, it is over 1cm slimmer. This card is still 2.7 slots in height, with most of it covered with fins. On the back we have one HDMI 2.1 port and three display 1.4A ports. On the side there are two 8-pin power connections as this card is rated to draw up to 350 watts of power. It does have a slight quirk, the power connections on the reference PCB design are actually upside down. The fans have also been upgraded from the previous generation. I expect it to have lower fan vibration and prolonged life expectancy due to the two ball bearing system for reinforced stability. I like that Palette included the low temperature silent mode so the fans will not kick in unless GPU is above 60 degrees Celsius. And all the RGB fans, this one is for you. The card supports addressable RGB so you can personalize it to whatever your heart desires. You can control it through Palette Thundermaster software together with the fan speeds and also overclocking options. Moving over to the main specs of the card. Here we have a whopping 10,496 CUDA cores with boost clocks reaching 1725 MHz and 24 GB of GDDR6X memory running at 19.5 gigabit speed on a 384-bit bus. This amount of computational power and memory is pretty much all you need for gaming and even high-end productivity tasks. If that's not enough, 3090 also supports NVLink, so you can install two of them at the same time. That will be one expensively powerful rig. NVIDIA 3000 series is also running over PCIe Gen 4, with other features including DLSS, improved ray tracing, HDCP 2.3 and up to 8K display resolution. For a full review, make sure to check out our other video where we compare it to a 2080 Super and also 3080. If you want to check out this card in more detail, we'll leave a link in the description below. I hope this was useful. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up and subscribe for more. We'll see you guys in the next one.